Welcome, welcome to uh, Statuary Hall. And today, pursuant to House Resolution 506, we'll dedicate a bust of the late uh, Vaclav Havel uh, for a permanent display uh, here in the United States Capitol. It's a poetic but uh, paradoxical honor uh, for a man who, in his own words, lived a paradoxical life. Now, here was a writer who exposed uh, the communists using uh, one weapon that they could not match, and that was the truth. Uh, for this, he received uh, three stays in prison, uh, countless uh, interrogations, and constant surveillance. But he kept on writing, hiding pages of his manuscripts uh, throughout his home. Uh, offered a chance to flee to the West, uh, he'd refuse, saying, I'm simply a Czech bumpkin through and through. Well, treated like a hero wherever he went, uh, he'd beg off saying, I'm simply a playwright and it's irrelevant whether I'm a dissenter. When one of his friends joked uh, that one day he'd lead a revolution and become the president, he responded, and I'll quote, that would be the worst thing that could happen to me. So you can imagine what Havel would say if told that his bust would not only stand here in the United States Capitol, but right alongside those of Lincoln, Churchill, and Washington. You can't write a play like this. Uh, today, we celebrate the struggle on the part of Havel and so many others in his time. In Poland, an electrician who climbed up on a crate in a shipyard and said to his fellow workers, you know me and the movement was born. And in East Germany, there was a priest who opened the doors of his 800-year-old church every Monday uh, for meetings that started out with no more uh, than a dozen people and turned into the epicenter of a national protest. You know, it takes guts to do things like this, especially when you don't know how long it will take or when you don't know how it's gonna end. Now, these men and women prove that the thirst for liberty never dies and that with drive and sacrifice, it can transform uh, the fortunes of a whole continent. So with this ceremony today, we give a curtain call to this cast of unwitting heroes and the playwright at the center of the drama. And uh, with this bust, we pay tribute uh, to the great things that ordinary people can achieve. So let me thank you all for being here, especially our honored guest from Hobble's family and from his native land. Uh, none of this would have been possible without the partnership between the uh, Vaclav Hobble Library Foundation and the American Friends of the Czech Republic. Uh, we're particularly grateful to uh, Fred Malik and Craig Stapleton, our former ambassadors to the Czech Republic. And finally, uh, let me welcome our nation's 64th Secretary of State, Madeleine Albright. Your presence here means so much to all of us. Thank you.